Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Qingxu. Let's look at the problem 48 in chapter 5. In this one, we still talk about circular motion, right? And it tells you the radius for this circle and also ask you to find the speed. Uh, if if this uh, an effect equal to gravity at the surface of the Earth is uh, to be filled. So what does that mean? That means the uh, normal force just equal to gravity, agree? Because the uh, effect uh, field is just a normal force act on this person by this, uh, just uh, this uh, circle, and then equal to the gravity. And then we can see this uh, circle, it moves horizontally. This is horizontal circle motion. So uh, the central force is just uh, this uh, normal force. So we can see the normal force, first one equal to the gravity, and then the normal force equal to mass times the velocity squared divided by r, so mass times the central acceleration, this one. And also, so we can solve this equation. You can say mg equal to the mv squared divided by r, then so you can get the v equal to squared g times r. Then look at there. The r is given, g is 9.8 meter per second squared, so very easily we can get this velocity, 7.73, Point four two meter per second. But there, the question asks you revolution per day. Revolution per day. What does that mean? It it is still the velocity. But we can see, uh, in one day, how much distance this uh, uh object traveled. Just use this velocity times the time for one day, right? One day is this uh, eighty six thousand four hundred seconds, and then. For one circle, how much distance it traveled? 2 pi r. 2 pi r, right? In this way, you can find, because in one day, the distance traveled by this object divided by the distance for one circle, you, find, you can find this revolution per day. And then we are done. Thank you.